Hey guys, Natji here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the Natji gang, 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 gang. So, I might have, might have snapped, <laughs> crackled, and popped on this hair. Uh, this hair is inspired by SZA, what she posted on Instagram a couple weeks ago, a couple days ago. But anyways, I saw that shit, loved it, had to recreate it. Um, the hair I used is not my favorite wig at all. I talk about it in my vlogmas. I'll link a video here so you can see what the original problems I had with it. You will notice during the video there's still lots of shedding with the hair. However, did the hair come and show out with this picking up the pigmentation, the body, how soft she is? Absolutely. Absolutely she did. If you are interested in seeing how I accomplished this color, then just keep watching before we get into it. Scroll down, hit the subscribe button, join the Netji gang, and let's get into this video. Okay, to start, I sectioned the hair by using braids. I put a braid on either side of the frontal and a braid across the frontal. This is the hair I want to keep blonde. Then I needed the Wella Color Charm Toner in 7W Caramel and 10 Volume Felper, as well as the Adore French Cognac dye. So I started with the toner. I had the toner, I've had the toner for a while, so I thought why not give it a try, especially when I want to do a color like this. In my opinion, you could totally skip this step. I do not think this step is necessary because this specific color of toner did not add anything to the hair, really. When I look at the hair, do I see more like cinnamon dimensions? Absolutely. But in order to accomplish the color that I think SZA and Jonathan got, I don't think you need to do this step at all unless you're using a different color toner. If there's another toner you're using that's bringing more brighter orange tones or more yellowy tones, I could certainly see that being useful. But this specific toner that I used, I don't think I needed it at all. In my opinion, it created more of a natural cinnamon ginger so like almost like a natural redhead but not that vibrant color that they had so again I think you can totally skip it and just watercolor it plus watercoloring it is a lot cheaper um, you use very little product to get like very intense results so to me I think that that's the best course of action however I just wanted to show you guys what I did so that you would know what what I did so this is what the wig looked like after I toned it. This is why I'm saying I don't think you need to tone the hair with this specific toner because it created a very natural looking ginger. Like this is the type of hair that you see on the white girl walking down the street. This is not necessarily the hair that we're going for in this moment, you know what I mean? So now I'm just mixing French cognac into hot water to watercolor the hair. Basically what I did was I strung the hair by the braids and just dunked it in. So I was just holding it by the braids for a while and trying to basically move the hair through the water to ensure it gets properly saturated on the front and throughout the hair without getting those braids tarnished at all because they really need to stay blonde for this look to be effective. After I was done, this is what I was working with and this to me already told me that I had a much better result than the toner. It's nice and vibrant and orange. So I'm going over it with some of this Aussie gloss over. It's almost like a conditioning cream. It just kind of helps with frizzies in my opinion. And I think that's why the hair looks so good this time around as well. After I put it through the hair, I just left the hair to air dry overnight and came back to it in the morning ready to curl it. I don't know, see like this? But this is like the most amp I've been for a week in a long time. Like it actually, I feel like it's not really cute. I'm excited to put it on my head. Oh my gosh, just dry, dry, hair dry. I really don't want to blow dryer because the hair is obviously trash as we already know. So I feel like putting more heat on it is just not going to be a good situation. So I'm going to let her air dry and tomorrow she'll be my like, <sighs> this is what she looks like on the mannequin. Very, very excited very much so giving what I wanted her to give so I'm going to speed through the install there's a million install videos on YouTube I have a million install videos so I'm just going to speed through what I'm doing right now and if you have any questions put them in the comments down below
Yes! Oh my gosh! <sighs> I just haven't, I've been like doing my makeup and I've been trying to be like really calm and not really hype, but I really and truly love, love, love how this wig came out. Even though this wig is terrible, and that's the only reason why I wanted to color it something like this was because I was like, well, I can't get much worse. It, the wig itself looked like moving, giving me body. The shedding is still very, very bad, like very, very bad. But I think because it sheds so much, whatever's left is like good hair. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what seems to be happening here because like when I tell you guys the movement, the way it feels, it's soft. Like it did not feel like this the first time I was dealing with it. So I don't know. I might have just done something. This might be my new favorite wig. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But anyways, let's close out this video because I could honestly and truly, this sounds conceited, but look at myself all day. Not only am I giving you SZA, I'm giving you Ginger Spice. I'm giving you free from 106 in Park. Like I'm giving you all of it. Whoever says a stylist is, thank you for the inspiration because this hot. This, this shit is so fucking hot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I did today. I understand it could have been confusing, but comment down below if you have any concerns. And as always, subscribe to me. It hasn't paid my bills yet, but it will one day. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!